In July, President Donald Trump reluctantly agreed to confirm that Iran is complying with the terms of the nuclear agreement. But now analysts say he is actively looking for ways to get the U.S. out of the deal. The administration has a multi-pronged uh, strategy uh, uh, aimed at uh, pushing Iran uh, to be the first to violate the agreement and therefore get the international blame for it. Here's how experts say the Trump administration is trying to pull that off. According to several U.S. officials, the administration is trying to force Iran to let the IAEA inspectors onto military sites that are off-limits under the deal, but where U.S. intelligence believes Iran might be cheating. Iran would likely resist such inspections, and that would play into Trump's strategy to paint Iran as non-compliant. I know we're asking to get into various facilities in Iran if they don't let us in. Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. But what you want is you want the, the breakup of this deal to be about Iran. You don't want it to be about the United States because we want our allies with us. The Iran deal, which may be the single worst deal I've ever seen drawn by anybody. In an interview with The Wall Street Journal, President Trump said, if it was up to me, I would have had them noncompliant 180 days ago. This clearly sets the stage for the U.S. saying Iran isn't in compliance the next time they're asked to recertify in September. In this one brief statement following the G20 meeting, Sarah Huckabee Sanders may have openly admitted that the United States is for the first time not complying with its agreement with Iran and other Western nations. In his discussions with more than a dozen foreign leaders, he underscored the need for nations to join together to strip terrorists of their funding, territory, and ideological support, and to stop doing business with nations that sponsor terrorism, especially Iran. The nuclear deal states the U.S. can't pursue a policy that adversely affects the normalization of trade and economic relations with Iran. By openly saying that it may not be abiding by the terms of the nuclear deal, the U.S. could be signaling that they're ready to pull the plug on it. One day after certifying that Iran was complying with the terms of the nuclear deal, the Trump administration announced new Iran-related sanctions on its individuals and companies that the U.S. believes contribute to Iran's exporting of terrorism. These new sanctions create uncertainty in the market and dissuade companies from doing business with Iran. This in turn means that Iran isn't fully reaping the economic benefits of the nuclear deal. I think it has never been in as much of a danger as it is at the moment, given the fact that it is one issue over which uh, there is almost consensus in Washington uh, that Iran is a bad actor uh, and this agreement is a bad deal.